Hello, my name is Marjan Faridouni. I'm the Chief Experience Officer at Expo 2020 Dubai. The Vision Pavilion is uh, based on His Highness's uh, book, My Story, 50 Stories in 50 Years. And the idea of uh, the Vision Pavilion is that it is a gift from the Expo 2020 uh, Dubai uh, family, the people who've worked on Expo, to His Highness uh, Sheikh Mohammed in appreciation of his uh, continuous vision and his support, uh, of which without we could not have achieved what we see today at Expo 2020. Uh, there are many inspirations to the way this um, pavilion was uh, designed. One key element of inspiration was the city of Dubai and the people who were part of the growth of the city over the past uh, years. So for example, when you see the building from the outside, it's covered in this uh, stone that's beige and it has some metal. The stone represents the uh, sand of the, the Emirate of Dubai and the um, uh, metal represents the growth and the development that the city has go been going through over the years. Uh, an interesting uh, fact about the design from the outside is that it has been inspired by the creek, uh, the Dubai creek, which has been fundamental in growing the city socially and economically. And from the inside also, we've used elements of the city of Dubai to inspire uh, what we have uh, done inside. Particularly in the first gallery, it's the gallery that we've called of learning and discovery. In this gallery, we introduce the visitors to His Highness's childhood, and we specifically talk about his childhood the way that he spoke about it in his book, in the chapter where he talks about sleeping with the scorpions. So there is an animation, uh, which is part of the show in the first gallery, which takes the visitor to the time that His Highness spent in the d desert when he was around seven, uh, eight to nine years old. Uh, and he spent it with a member of the Manasir tribe. And in those days that he spent in the de desert, he learned a lot about the environment uh, of the de desert, the species in the de desert, how to live with them, how to hunt, but also how to read the stars. So the visitors get to see uh, His Highnesses or get to see an insight into His Highnesses' childhood in this first gallery. So the Little Cave is a continuation to the first gallery where we've explored His Highnesses' childhood and his appreciation for the desert um, and nature. In the second gallery, we get introduced to uh, His Highnesses being an explorer, being a curious person. So when he was uh, uh, very young, he had a special place in the Zabil Palace, where he actually uh, uh, had specimens of uh, uh, animals that he collected. Uh, he also tried to nurse animals in this little cave. So what we did is we recreated a lot of those species that His Highness specifically talks to you uh, about in his book. Uh, so you will see recreated uh, scorpions, recreated butterflies, bugs, and you'll also see uh, animation videos um, of sketches uh, in a book because His Highness, when he talked about his uh, love for nature and his uh, curiosity to explore nature more, he had these books uh, that he would actually sketch in to write his notes to reflect on. So we tried to reflect that in the second gallery. In the second gallery, uh, we wanted to introduce uh, the visitors to His Highness's passion of horses in addition to his passion for poetry. Uh, we also wanted to highlight the key values uh, that basically uh, His Highness uh, works with throughout his whole life and that he talks about. Um, so the first thing when you visit that gallery is you are faced by this 5.5-meter uh, uh, sculpture that's 52 tons made out of marble, and it is a sculpture of a horse. And a lot of people, when they see this horse, they ask, who is this horse? And the horse is one of His Highness's favorite um, horses that he mentions in his book, My Story, Millennium, who's a, a very famous racing horse and who one of his most important races was the one that he won at the Dubai World Cup. So this gallery uh, takes you through, again, a show. And this show goes through uh, uh, a, a journey, and one of the journeys is includes uh, certain elements of Dubai, but more importantly, it uh, addresses the importance um, uh, of overcoming challenges, which His Highness has always spoke about, how challenges are opportunities for us to learn. 
and that if we are able to take challenges as learning opportunities, we are able to overcome and continue to grow. And this is how the city of Dubai has been growing over the years based on these uh, beliefs and based on the values of discipline, determination, trust. Um, so the visitor will get to see that through this, uh, uh, this show and it ends with a beautiful ending of the millennium crossing the finish line and the joy that it has brought uh, to, to His Highness uh, and uh, the remainder of Dubai. Room that talks about uh, pearl diving is based on a chapter that His Highness spoke about in his book uh, of the time that he actually spent with pearl divers at the sea. His father, Sheikh Rashid uh, bin Said, encouraged him to spend some time with the d uh, divers. And through that experience, His Highness understood the difficulties that the diver underwent in order to uh, pearl dive, which was basically uh, in the uh, past the cornerstone of the Dubai economy. So uh, we wanted visitors to feel that and to understand that uh, patience, determination, perseverance have been really what was key in driving the vision of uh, the city of Dubai. And this is what His Highness has been talking about in his book, My Story. The final experience for the journey is titled as The Journey Continues. And in this uh, gallery, uh, you get introduced to uh, people, around 20 individuals who have been interviewed. These individuals have been residents of the uh, city of Dubai for many years. And they are older people and younger people combined. And they talk about their experience in the city of Dubai. In addition to listening to stories of people who lived in the city, the visitor will also uh, uh, go through this uh, show that takes you through the journey of the city. So it starts with how the city of Dubai started, how pearl diving was um, uh, one of the most important uh, generators of the economy. Uh, but then it goes through the history of how the city uh, of Dubai has evolved over the years. And you see that through this uh, table uh, that has a beautiful show, but you also listen to the stories of the people who talk about how the city has developed over the years. And one of the key messages in, these, uh, in this gallery is that the city of Dubai continues to grow, continues to be anchored by the vision of His Highness and his father and his grandfather, and that we will expect that we continue to uh, develop as a city of Dubai because it's based on the strong vision and the strong foundations of the values that they have seen in the previous galleries.